Well, first of all, it was an all-black school, and um, it was the type of school that everybody, the teachers loved the, the, the students. You know, they took time with them. Uh, the, the, um, uh, like said, Mr. Gaines, which was the vice principal, if you was out in the hall and not in class, he'd get on you. Back then, it was like a neighborhood because if you did something wrong, you got, you got the board. And he had a big board. <laughs> and, and I respect that because I think today we have lost that because, first of all, we don't have a neighborhood anymore. Second of all, nobody really cares you know, enough to, to put you in your place. These kids nowadays are running wild, you know. So uh, I think of it as a, as a family, uh, and, um, and we all kind of enjoyed each other, you know, as a, as a whole, you know. Being, I think, most of all, being that they was a, a black, uh, they, they, they wanted us to succeed, and so they, they really uh, got on us. And, and, and made us understand that if you don't, you know, if you lie the dollar around and you miss school, then you're missing out on life, you know. You, that means that you're going to eventually, if you ain't careful, you're going you're gonna to shortchange yourself. And so uh, most of them stayed on us about coming to class and, and doing well in class or, you know, we're putting your best into it, you know. So, you know, they were, they was almost like having a parent there with you. You see what I'm saying? They was always on your case about, come on, you need to get in class. Come out of that hall, you know. Stop clowning around. Why you calling your home? Call you, if you was out of class, they call your house and find out what's what's going on. If you're sick or what's going on, let your parents know that you was miss, you wasn't there, you know. So those were the, they was. It's like a, having a family, and you, you and I think these days kids missing that, you know. So I thought well of that. You know, you wanted your kids to go through the same thing that you went through because, you know, to my judgment, kids nowadays, when they have a reunion, they have to separate. The blacks kind of have their own reunion and the whites have their own reunion. They might get together in a whole, but, but it's not like our reunion. We, you know, it's all black and everybody get a chance to really enjoy each other. And, 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 you know, we separated because we don't have an east side like we used to. So back in the days, everybody knew everybody because, but now, you know, you don't get to see each other until, until you have a reunion. And, and it's, it's the most enjoyable thing uh, that I enjoy the most is seeing the people that I haven't seen in years that I uh, missed when I was down, when we was growing up together. So I, I think it's a, a great loss, great loss. Oh, back, back in the days, like uh, 11th Street, they had a lot of small business on 11th Street, barbecue, uh, clubs, you know, um, uh, little stores and, and, and different things. And, and the same thing on 12th Street, uh, they had a bunch of clubs and, and they had Harlem Theater. My most, <laughs> the Harlem Theater was the most enjoyable place because you could go to the Harlem Theater with 25 cents, you could buy a hot dog. First of all, you get in the movie, you got a hot dog, and you get uh, chips and a soda, I mean, uh, popcorn and a soda. And if, you, and if you had a girlfriend, 50 cents wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> so I, I remember Harlem Theater, I talk about it all the time. And another place that I, we uh, talk about all the time was they had the free show every Wednesday in the summer. Uh, I'm not, are you from Austin area? you familiar with the free show. And every time you, you hear James Brown, uh, uh, Aretha Franklin, and all that, we was, I was at a party with my brother-in-laws, and every time we heard that we had a free show, because the free show was a, a, great, a great place to, that people come over and they set up a big screen, and, and, uh, and you had the pool, which, you know, swimming at night was the most greatest thing in the West. It's a whole different world. And then you had the little dance stand, and then you, they played baseball, and they, and they had uh, basketball, and it's, it was a great activity. It was really beautiful. I, I love the free show. I think about it all the time. I wish they could do something for, uh, but I don't know if they can do it anymore, you know. You know. So I went to a, 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 a quite a few, as many as I could, you know. And um, John Harvey, of course, everybody knows John Harvey, and he's a classmate of ours, but he was great. He was the one. 
I mean, he's probably one of the most greatest athletes overall. I mean, he could do it all. He was good at all, all sports. And, and, uh, and then, of course, we had a, a bunch of them uh, that um, was good. And, and we would, our best games that we had was when we played against Wheatley at San Antonio. <laughs> we played against Wheatley. You know, they were always a disturbance afterwards. And then when we go to Wheatley, it was the same thing. But Wheatley was one of the, one of the greatest rivals. Of course, uh, Austin High was another one that, uh, that uh, we had uh, a lot of enjoyable games with, you know, playing with, against Austin High. So I, I enjoyed it, you know. Um, overall, I, I, I enjoyed uh, Mr. Ewan, which was the track star, plus I think he taught, I can't remember exactly what he taught, but he was another uh, enjoyable person to watch, uh, getting that track team together. And, uh, and he would put a board on you. And, his, and <laughs> it would always, when you, when you got that board from him, he would tell a war story. <laughs> I don't know if you, and he would, uh, he would walk, pull that board back and, and have you bent over and, and, uh, and he'll uh, say something like, and the bomb hit, whoosh, and then he'll pop your boy, and I'll tell you what. So I remember that well, so, but uh, it's, a, it's a, I mean, the, it, the whole school in all was, it was the greatest thing to be a member of, you know, being able to go to, the, to an all-black school, one thing, and then to Old Anderson as a, as a whole. And, and, as most of the people that you talk to loved it, I'm sure they give you good positive things about it. You know, of course, ev everything has a negative about it, but we can most remember the pos uh, all the positive things about it. You know, yeah.